With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, a particle A of mass m by 2 moving along x-axis with velocity v0 collide elastically with another particle B at rest having mass m by 3. If the both particles move along x-axis after collision, you are, then you have to find out the change in de Broglie wavelength of particle A in terms of the de Broglie wavelength before the collision lambda naught. Great. So if you see initially MA was moving with velocity v0 and uh, this was mb which was at rest before the collision and after the collision they got velocity va and vb very simple now if you uh, see here there is no external force so we can apply the momentum conservation so i will write initial momentum that is ma into v0 is equals to the final momentum that is this now we need to calculate the velocity of a particle so that we could find out the de Broglie wavelength of the particle a after the collision right so uh, let's write down another equation that is e equation that is one for this case since this collision is elastic if you see it is given that collide elastically right so the you can see already the velocity of separation after the collision is vb minus va and before the collision velocity of approach was v0 so from here we got vb minus va is equals to v0 so this uh, this is the equation 1 and this is the equation 2 right if you see in the question ma is given as m by 2 and mb mb is m by 3 so I will write m by 2 into v0 is equals to m by 2 into va plus m by 3 into vb. So, so now you can cancel out this m. So if you will multiply this equation by 6 then you will get 3v0 is equals to 3va plus 2vb. Equation 1. Right. Equation 2 is this. So now let's solve it for va. So we can cancel out this VB right uh, by uh, multiplying this equation 2 with 2 and after multiplying 2 you can subtract this equation from equation 1 so that th this VB will get cancelled out. So I will write equation 1 minus 2 times of equation 2 right. So if you see here, here you will get uh, 2 VB minus 2 VA into this right. So let me write it here. is 2 into equation 2 so we are subtracting minus equation uh, 1 minus 2 times of equation 2 so you will get v0 is equals to 5 va so from here you will get the va value as v0 by 5 let's so understand the Broglie wavelength so the Broglie wavelength is plan constant by mv so if I talk about the de Broglie wavelength of A initial, so it was H upon M, M of the A particle is M by 2, it is given in the question and initially it was moving with velocity V0, so just put it here. So this was the initial de Broglie wavelength and finally it is having velocity V0 by 5. So I will write final de Broglie wavelength of A, so the mass will remain the same that is M by 2 and v0 by 5 right so you can see it is 5 times of initial de Broglie wavelength right so it is said in the question that initial de Broglie wavelength is lambda naught right so i will write this lambda naught then this is 5 lambda naught so now you can answer this question now you have to find out the change in de Broglie wavelength delta lambda so you can see 5 lambda naught was is the final and lambda naught is the initial so the answer will be 5 minus 1 that is 4 lambda so this will be the answer that is 5 lambda naught minus lambda naught so b is the correct one thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level 
ट्रस्टेड बाई मोर देन फाइव करोड़ स्टूडेंट्स डाउनलोड डाउट एंड आप टूडे